Hello everyone, I've got another 10 cards to share today, however this is going to be a slightly different format since I've already put all the cards together and I'm using a kit that I actually didn't even receive. And I saw, when I saw this kit, Beach, uh, maybe it was called Beach Day, I just fell in love. But it was May 2021 and for whatever reason they had issues and did not send me my kit. However, I did find the die cut pack and the paper pad in their clearance section and so I snapped those up because I fell in love with one the seagulls and um, you know a few of the papers and things so normally when I see the preview I do some sketches I'll just show this real quick not it's not gonna fit in the frame but Anyway, I had already done all that, and so then I had to just set it aside because I wasn't going to get the kit and mourn it a little bit. But, alas, now I have some of the supplies, and I've made ten cards. Most of the ones that I had planned out I was able to execute with just the paper pad and the dies. The die cuts, I mean. And then um, things I had in my stash. There were, I think, at least two cards out of the ten I had originally designed that... I couldn't do it all because one I was planning with the stickers which I didn't have so moving on these are all the extra die cuts that I still have and then I still have quite a few papers there's scraps in here I've got some there anyway I'm gonna set these aside and just go through each of the cards so we'll start with this one which is a seahorse card I did an ink blended background with oxide inks these are excuse me, Nouveau Crystal Drops here, and then the die cuts, and I've got it popped up on foam. So if you want to recreate this and you have the supplies, go ahead, pause, and have a look at that. And then I made a shaker card. So I, these are my sequins, of course, I had in my stash. I also had one of these little gems in my stash, and I think everything else is paper and dies, and all the card bases I made except for one I just made out of um, cardstock that I had. So you can see that. Very cute. This one here uses a circle die that I had in my stash. I also have some of this gold card still. And then all the die cuts and uh, paper. This one is the one that I had a card base. It's kind of a mint colored, and I just happened to have that in my stash, so I didn't make the card base. But everything else is paper and die cuts. These words here came from the paper that had the letters on there. And again, I have some dimension with some fun foam. Here's another one with some gold from my stash. And just die cuts. Hopefully I'm not going too fast here but you can always slow it down and listen to my funny voice. This again, die cuts, got some foam mounting tape there in a variety of places, just on the seashell and this, and a circle for my stash. There's another one. This little frame was uh, difficult because I don't actually have dies that will cut out a nice frame, and so this side's a little thinner than this side, but I managed to get it on there because that was the look I wanted. We have a variety of dimension with foam tape. Ah, uh, the love of my life, the seagull. That's buckling a bit there, but yes, I fell in love with this seagull and the seagull paper, and I just, he's so cute, you know? So that's probably my favorite just because of the seagull. There's another one, lots of jungle papers, you know, jungle and hibiscus. And then for this one, this blue card I had in my stash cardstock, but I think in the kit that I did not get, they had some similar cardstock. And then these are the papers from the pad, this uh, tan colored one I pulled out of my stash also. And I just did some tearing, and yes, I think I shall... You know what? I'm going to put all the dimensions in the description box this time. So, and I'll try to pop a picture at the end of all the cards. Thanks again for watching, and have a great creative day. Bye!